anti-Islam ads are going to appear on more than 100 city buses next week. They feature images of journalist James Foley, who was beheaded by an ISIS terrorist. The ads will also go up in two Midtown subway stations. The campaign is being paid for by anti-Islam blogger Pamela Geller, who says the ads expose truths about Islam and jihad, and the MTA is essentially powerless to stop her. News for Sheldon Dutez has more. This is an ad featuring James Foley moments before his beheading under the title Yesterday's Modern Headline. And here's an ad with Adolf Hitler with the caption about the Quran promoting the hatred of Jews. I read the Quran, I read the, the Bible too. The Quran never said that. Uh, never said you, give, you must give the Jewish or Christian like a peace. You can't fight with them. Truth is not offensive. Truth is, it, truth has become controversial. Truth is the new hate speech. Pamela Geller is the founder of the American Freedom Defense Initiative. Her group is behind the $100,000 campaign to plaster these anti-jihadist signs on MTA buses and subway entrances. What would you say to people who might interpret the campaign as anti-Muslim? What would you say to them? Well, there is no Muslim in my campaign. I don't believe we have to pat on the back every Muslim that doesn't want to kill us. We expect that, but clearly there's a problem in Islam, and we must be able to talk about it. The Council on American-Islamic Relations denounces AFDI's efforts to include Muslim Americans and extremist groups into the same category. I've never met a Muslim in America, whether extremely left or extremely right, who has, who has said anything positive about ISIS. You know, I mean, we all think they're a terrorist organization that is, that is um, undermining the perception of what Islam really stands for. The AFDI ads will start showing up around Manhattan in the next week or so. I don't want that hatred going around my kids. And the MTA says it has to run the AFDI campaign because of a previous court ruling, but the authority has rejected one of the group's ads that claimed killing Jews were part of Muslim worship. Sabila and David, back to you. All right, Sheldon, thanks so much. Well, coming up, 